China is the most populous country in the world with the second largest economy. That means there are limitless opportunities for corridor students studying Chinese. As part of our ongoing partnership with Diversity Focus, CBS2 News reporter Sadie Hughes shares how some Kennedy High Schoolers are planning for their future today in tonight's Voices of Diversity. It's definitely interesting because not only does she teach us, but we teach her as well. Sometimes I do uh, say something that's not grammatically right or not very authentic. They will point out, and I feel very grateful to them. All right, and then we're going to do a little picture here. For students like Jordan Schwab, this is career training. It's a completely different sentence structure than it is in English or any other language for that matter. Chinese is a visual language instead of audio language. The conversation of the people, it's very fast, it's very staccato. Kennedy is the only high school in the corridor that offers Chinese. To have an Asian language provided in such a small uh, city is, is really unique and good. It's really impressive because, I mean, it's a rare thing to find. Two teachers split the classes that span every period of the day. My saying is Lo Chu Ma Jiao. There simply aren't enough Chinese speakers to meet demand here in the U.S., so students have a good shot at government sponsored scholarships. How means what? Jordan plans to bridge that gap. She will be minoring in Chinese and majoring in special education, a decision that invigorates these teachers then I feel that I've been successful as a teacher. That's my biggest reward. A reward that will keep them teaching and inspiring. She doesn't let you leave the classroom without learning something new. If you have a Voices of Diversity story that you want to share, I'd like to hear about it. Send me an email or a tweet. Sadie Hughes, CBS 2 News.